Hey guys, Moonstar here, and I'm going to be playing a little Clash Royale for you guys while I talk about what is likable about this game and what isn't likable about this game. Now, before I go into a battle, uh, as you can see, I'm in Arena 5 and I need one more wizard before I can upgrade my wizards right here, and I'm not using the like the um, deck in the overlay that you guys are seeing is this deck. This is the deck I'm going to be using. I just had this deck out so I could um, trophy push a bit, but this is the deck I like using because it's fun. It's just fun to record and fun to play with. Um, the deck here... Oh, Minion Horde is in this deck? I didn't know that. I didn't notice. But I need one wizard, and here's my first con of this entire game. Your clan. My clan is Zachariah, and let me just show you. Soon Fluffy Destroyer will be in Arena 5, and when he does, I can finally have someone request me. But Nate, he was in Arena 5. He has wizards and stuff. He requests stuff like hog riders, wizards, all of the really high stuff that you usually can't donate to people. He doesn't donate. He doesn't. It's actually pissing me off. Devin, also in a really high, he d has a lot of trophies, he has a lot of cards, he has level 5 wizards. Doesn't donate. He probably has cards to spare. He requests all the time, like, I donate to him a lot. I'm highest donations in this entire clan, I believe, yeah. 333 donations. They don't donate. They never donate. And that's one of my biggest pet peeves, because the only reason I stay in this clan is because a lot of my friends are in this clan. Ignore the fact that I just moved out of Jalixir Cost, it was just starting to bug me. But the only reason I stay in this clan is because these are... This is a personal friend of mine. This is a personal friend of mine. This is a personal friend of mine. Uh, let's go down a bit more. This is a personal friend of mine. This is a personal friend of mine. Uh, this is a personal friend of mine, like, there are probably a few more that I don't even know are in here that are probably f personal friends of mine, but it's extremely annoying because they're the only reason I stay in this clan, because if I leave, they're all going to stay, because there are a lot of low levels, but I'm a higher level, I'm Arena 5, and I'm going to push to Arena 6 soon. I need people who are willing to donate all of the, uh, what are some examples of what I need donated? I'm going to need wizards donated, I'm going to need fire spirits donated if I want to level those up, I want infernal towers, um, bar, like the, um, hog riders, that's a pain in the ass, because I never get it. I never get any barbar huts, I never get any rockets, like, it's just extremely annoying, the fact that no one donates in this game. Because you just sit here, and you need one more, and you'll never get it. Let me fix my mic. My apologies. Okay. He's just getting elixir down. I can deal with this. I play um highly defensive, if you're wondering what my strategy is. I know I have a lot of 5 elixir, so this strategy requires you, like it's an absolute requirement to just sit here and build up elixir. But I play defensive and I go offensive when I notice he's wasted all of his elixir and I still have a lot. Uh, gotta put bars, bar bars, and a baby dragon here, and I have skellies to defend in case he decides that he wants to, uh, place another hog. He's really committed to that tower back there. Let's commit to a push on this side now.
Sorry I'm going really silent, I'm just really trying to pay attention to literally every detail on the screen, or else I could lose this battle. Because I'm trying to go for a three crown, because as soon as this reaches uh, one minute, this becomes the most offensive deck ever. Like, this goes from zero to a hundred on the offensive scale. This was probably the easiest three crown I've had in a while, actually. But, yeah, this take this absolutely destroys defensive people. Um, one of the main weaknesses to this deck, because if you guys plan on using this deck, you need to know what can kill it. Wizards. Wizards absolutely destroy this deck. And if you encounter anyone that you know is going to use a wizard, you need to completely change how you use this deck. Because you need to get the wizard onto your side before you can destroy, and you need a lot of lower elixir, so you're going to need the barbarians and the baby dragon and then save up for minions. And those will destroy the wizard and then begin the push. And I failed that twice because this guy had arrows and both decks and he used it to counter the push that I used but here I used it successfully uh, giants wait until they're on your side and then skeletons and minions you don't want to over commit and you want to focus on killing hog riders more than giants because hog riders are a bigger threat uh, let's go this one because this one was also pretty close I believe and I'll show you some other things I did. Because I just want to show off this deck in particular. Because I'm done ranting. I'm done ranting about this game. I don't need to. So I realized he was going to begin a push on the left side, and I saw he had the Musketeer. So I sent the Minion Horde to take care of that Musketeer, and as soon as I saw it was safe, I place the uh, minions to take out the hog, and then I place skeletons to do some extra damage. Next, I arrowed his uh, minion horde coming by. This is when I still had um, arrows in the deck. I replaced it for fireball recently to see how it would go. And I just sat here and waited. Because the entire point of this deck is to build up elixir. Because you want to be able to do a crap ton of offensive pushes. You do want to play defensively. As you can see, I saw he had the prince, so I placed the barbarian baby dragon combo. Because the baby dragon will counter his barbs, because I I had a feeling that if you're gonna have a prince in a deck, you're probably gonna have barbs. And then I placed the low elixir troops to help counter anything that he placed down. So you can see now he only has offensive cards, so I placed the barb the um not the barbs, the uh, balloon. I placed the balloon to kind of mess with him a little, because if he wants to get rid of that, he had to get rid of his minion horde, and then had to get his musketeer. And I didn't know he didn't have anything to counter my balloon at the time, I just thought it was the smartest play. And I kind of, I was just trying to think what he would use, and I didn't know he had skeleton army. That was actually a complete bummer when I saw that, but... Because I put the uh, Prince in my Barbarians, the Barbarians actually take out all of the troops and the Prince is guarded. And that's really nice. Yeah, as you can see, this guy's saving his arrows, which is a stupid idea. Because my um, strategy requires hoarding troops without using a Horde card. Because most people just expect me to have a um, Minion Horde. And as you can see, he uses his arrows only against my Minion Horde. But when he does that, A, he's not noticing the entire push I have going towards his final tower, and B, it's just a waste of elixir sometimes. Um, we have time for one more, and then I'll show you one more I lost. Uh, is there a major one that isn't a um, deck spammer? Um, this, me and this guy were pretty even, uh, but that's a different deck. I want one where I was using this deck at the time to lose. Uh, I 
guess I could show you this one because this is when I switched over to Fireball and this is a pretty important lesson for me to learn on what to do because this wasn't the first time I ever had a problem with wizards. So as you can see we're both just building up our elixir. I had the skeletons in my thing which was extremely lucky but I usually I don't do anything much until the game actually really gets started so I wait until he places his first troop and I was really sad to see that bomber that bomber counters all of my cards like my um, goblins he has a lot of things that can take out my cards essentially because my goblins my skeletons and my barbars my barbarians if you get annoyed by me calling them barbars but they all rely on me being able to hoard and what you can see there is I saw he had uh, troops that could hit air and I placed the um, minion horde around them so they couldn't target the entire minion horde and the minion horde wouldn't get distracted until they took out their only threat. Uh, that's a very helpful strategy. Seriously, if you see a musketeer and you plan on taking it out with a swarming card, place it like on top so they go around the musketeer. No, I saw that barbar that um not barbarian. Although I saw the barbarians, I was worried about that bomber. That bomber absolutely terrified me. So I fireballed to get rid of it. And here's the wizard. Now I saw the wizard and I I felt really calm at first, but then I looked at my cards and I had gobs and minion horde, and you can't have minion horde against a wizard. So I saw the wizard, I uh, wait, I let the wizard lock onto my baby dragon, and as you can see, this bomb is going to destroy my tower. It sucks, but okay, who cares. Uh, I lost this fair and square. I know what I did wrong, I regret it. La di da di da. I began to try and push the other side, because I wanted him to waste all of his elixir trying to get rid of my bars, my bar bars. And when I saw him co over commit the um, five elixir there, I thought it would be a little safer for me to uh, begin a push on the left side, but he still had a crap ton of elixir. And 30 seconds left on the clock, he's just playing defensive. He's not going to bother going for a push. He sees me using uh, swarm cards and the baby dragon, and he places the best card, which is the m wizard, and then he distracts my barbars with the. Uh, what is it called? Mini P.E.K.K.A.? And yeah, I lost this. I, I knew I was going to lose, but even if I did manage to take out his tower on the right like I was planning, I would have still lost this because he had that final push on my middle crown tower. I lost. So yeah, don't make the same mistakes I did in this video. If you're going to use this strategy, use your elixir very effectively and I recommend switch out some of these cards like um, I have minions level 8 they'll work fine instead of minion horde and that will lower your overall elixir cost um, arrows instead of fireball that's a good one I only have fireball because of when the tower is at like a hundred health left I can just fireball it um, you want to keep these guys but this you could um, swap out for wizard if you want to make up the elixir you lost. I'm not going to because I can't really afford it. So I'll show you um, with uh, the new minions and then I'll end this video and you guys can try this out for yourself. Okay, I have a lot of... Okay, he's starting out strong. Uh, what do I want to do? I'll do this because I want my bars and I want him to almost react. Okay, I need this and lock on. Good. My minions will quickly take care of that. The Valkyrie. I want to take out that Valkyrie's health. He's going to take out my baby dragon, which is a smart idea. As you can see, these absolutely destroyed the musketeer. No! Wizard. Okay. 
Here is how to properly de deal with the wizard. Let him onto your side, and barbs. Pop. It's honestly as simple as that. I'm actually really sad that I didn't do that both times, but hey, you learn from your mistakes, right? And now with that, Baby Dragon's just going to start absolutely destroying his other tower. I'm letting the Baby Dragon target my towers, and then I'm going, I like, start killing it. And... I don't know what he planned, oh, oh, I know what he's doing. He didn't know I had the prince. The prince will take care of that, uh, Valk. Hmm. I don't want to commit that fireball. Oh, he's a spawner. Hmm. I don't like that. Spawner users are literally Satan in this game. I want to kill all of them. So this is where um, cards like the uh, Fireball comes in handy, because the Fireball does 190, and now I just have to... I just have to distract all of the... I just have to survive for 10 more seconds. I can't. Oh crap. This guy is pretty powerful. He, he is good. Oh, he wins. He wins. The minion horde is actually a pretty helpful card in my opinion. The minions don't do as nearly as much damage as the minion horde. If you it's my recommendation you stick with the minion horde, but if you want to use minions, they do work. It's literally if you have a wizard, you cannot survive this deck. So, uh, yeah, you guys have a nice night. I'm Minstar and I'm out.